little girl that at five year old she transitioned to be a girl and she knew that that's what she wanted to be because she, she knew that she did she likes to wear dresses she likes to play with barbies and if and if you're born like that you're going to forever be like that and whether the age the the age that you pick it to be it's your choice that's like that's like right all right there's certain things that I always wanted to do when I was younger, right? And I be and I and I started to do now. Now that I have money, I be like, wow! I wish I would have been there how to do this. I wish I would have been on this and that. I would have been happy. What's the point of you being older and then transitioning and being like, damn! I should have been do this. I could have been found my happiness if I would have been do it. Let people find their happiness, especially kids. Let them feel comfortable doing what they want to be. And it is and it's true. A lot of trends that that I know around me, like when I ask them, like when did you knew that you wanted, you know, to change? And they said, I always, I always felt like I was a girl. I always felt like I was a girl. Like I was born like this. People are born like that. Like the Lady Gaga song, "I Was Born This Way." That shit is fucking real. And I know a lot of us is, a lot of people is old school. Because, you know, things is, people, are, some people are old school because the parents, the grandparents that raised them or the area that they, they grew up in. A lot of people don't grow up with trans, gay people, this and that. They just don't. So, you know, I understand that they just don't be understanding certain shit, but please try to understand Cause sometimes you'll be, cause sometimes you'll be wanting people to understand you. So try to understand somebody else, especially when it's a child. And then a lot of people kept saying like, oh, well, why they put their kids business out there? If you ain't wanted your kid to be people giving an opinion about your kid, you shouldn't put their business out there. Well, let's say they would have kept it a secret. Y'all would have been saying, well, I think his son is gay. I think his son is gay. Oh, my gosh, I think his son is gay. Why not just, well, if it's, when you hold a secret, it just feels like such a burden. You might as well free and let it out. And while you free and letting it out and telling your truth, why not educate? Why not educate? I don't know. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Like, cause everybody kept saying, like, if you ain't wanted people to say all these disrespectful things about your kid, you shouldn't have your opinions out there. I, I, you shouldn't be putting your business out there. Well, before he even came out, I used to see people talking, saying, "Oh, I think his son is kind of, you know, zesty. This, this, and that." Why keep a secret? And feel like a burden and feel like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen if somebody finds out? Somebody's going to find out. And then somebody's going to put the business out there and then y'all going to be laughing. Okay, 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 okay. Speak your truth. Speak it. And educate. And start opening people's eyes. And then another thing, I see that little boy... I see that little boy that everybody's like saying. I remember that. Remember that time that um, that boy. Oh my God! I remember when I saw that video. That boy that he kept saying that that he got bullied and he was crying. That video made me cry. And then we found out that the family was trying to do money schemes and and um, the kid was racist. And I think that shit fucked up our mind because now there's a video of this little boy that he's a midget. Uh, I don't know if I, yeah, right? That's what you say, or, 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 I don't even know that word. I don't know. Um, and everybody keeps saying like, oh, I, he's lying about his age, this and that. Now everything is going to be like the last case. I really don't think that he's lying uh, uh, on his age. And just because there's videos of him flossing money and acting all gangster and acting all cool and everything, it doesn't mean that kids do not pick on him. Come on now, like, just because he, they act in a certain type of way, trying to be cool, like his parents trying to probably boost up his ego and make him act a certain type of way for the gram. Y'all motherfuckers be acting for the gram every day. Y'all niggas be acting like y'all got money every day and y'all broke. 
Y'all bitches act like y'all broke. Like y'all got money and y'all broke. Y'all bitches act like every nigga is on you, but you can't make no nigga spend no money and you got you got no nigga. So Just because he, he looks a little fly and everything, it doesn't mean that people do not pick on him in school. It doesn't mean that he does not feel like, you know, like the other kids. And I, and I saw that video and I was so sad. He, I think he's so cute little boy. Oh, it's, oh yeah, dwarfism. My bad, because, uh, you know, I'm not all good with all these words and everything. I just really love kids. I love kids, motherfuckers. I love my kid. I always love kids. I don't like when kids suffer. Okay, I get it. The word is dwarf. I, I, ain't, I ain't know. Listen, I don't know. I don't know the right words and all that shit. Like I said, you, you, as, I, you learn. You learn little by little. Oh shit! And then I'm and then I, I I went a little crazy on Twitter today, but I'm not even gonna talk about that because at the end of the day, I'm just gonna let time. Only time will tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna be talking about that. My skin do look good, right? Mm, you know what I'm saying? It looks so smooth and everything. But I do need to find. Somebody that, um, what's that shit called? Oh, fuck. I don't know why I keep forgetting all these words. You know what? I had such a bad headache today and I'm so jittery that I'm just like, my mind is all over the place. But somebody that that's good on popping whiteheads because I have a couple of whiteheads right here. And that shit, we look, I hate that shit. I only know one good person that does that and she's in the Bronx and I haven't been there in how many. I really want that shit gone. But other than that, my skin be looking real, real fucking smooth. You know what I'm saying? Fucking and minding. This is what happens when you fuck and mind your business. When you fuck and mind your business, this is the result. Your face smooth like butter. Like butter. One inside me, inside of my pussy. I want it inside me, inside of my pussy. I want it inside me, inside of my pussy. Oh, oh, oh. I want it inside me, inside of my pussy. I want it inside me, inside of my pussy. I want it inside me, inside of my pussy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still a good. Y'all gas me. Now can I even stop thinking about how good it look? My face look. Okay, we want the single. All right. Um. Hmm. So I have like five songs that I'm really undecisive on which one do I want to make my single. Like now, I'm really undecisive. So y'all know that I'm a Libra, right? And Libras are very undecisive. So I have five songs. That I really like. And one song. I'm, I'm planning to do. A, a put an artist on it. But I don't know if it should be my single. So I think I'm going to hit up. I wish. I wish. I wish like. I have like most of my body gang people like. In like the same state. So like people could help me pick out this song. Or maybe I should just like. Hit up people from the industry like that listens to a lot of music and everything and and i could decide because i really just want to i need to put out a single already like i, I know I, yeah i know y'all think i keep playing games with y'all but i i just it's, it's i mean ain't no game playing you know what i'm saying niggas ain't playing no games with this fucking shit but you know what i'm saying <laughs> put us in the group chat and video files now i don't trust y'all motherfuckers like that you know what i'm saying y'all might leak my shit I need to get my hair did. My shit's gonna look a little right there. This shit look fucking crazy. This shit look fucking Guys, my my um, my engineer just called me. I think he's gonna come upstairs so we about to record and shit. My oh you guys are starving. Oh, you guys are starving. Oh, oh.
Are you hungry? Do you want to eat? <laughs> you want to eat a single? Well, guess what? I'm going to feed you very soon. Goodbye. All right, guys. Goodbye. Because I'm really trying to... What I'm really trying to do today, I'm trying to finish this song that I did yesterday. I'm trying to finish that song today. And I'm trying to do a new one today, too. Let's see if I can knock out two songs today. Because I don't... Really, I'm not sure I'll talk to you guys later.